You pooping over there? Come on. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hey, everybody. Okay. So, we're doing a vlog, crypto vlog. June the 5th, 2023. Every day, the days get longer. The nights get shorter. It's called summer. And then we're approaching the solstice, June 22nd. And then <coughs> we're going to freaking juice so hard. Talking about juicers. The juice was loose today with the B&B &B news, right? We knew it was coming. We had the DOJ news. April. Was it April? Hmm. Hmm, maybe March 27th, 28th. I don't remember the date. The DOJ clamping down. I did a vlog about it on Binance, old Binance. Oh, little girl. Wait, there you go. There you go, little girl. Okay. And now the SEC. I talked about the SEC DOJ. These are bottable events. SEC suing Binance, any coin, B&B. &B. Binance, you auto short BNB, right? Well, uh, the news traders within one minute, they pretty much shorted it from 300 to 287. Sad word. Terminal with the first entry, the auto news trading, shorted at 300, 300K size, small size for sad word. Uh, it looks like no one else had their API hooked up except short on that one. So nice, nice little short 10K. So a lot of people closed around 290. I think it went down to 285 and then bounced, maybe 283, then bounced to 290. Then uh, CZ said four. It's the first time we're hearing about this news. Obviously they published the news before the official filing. I don't know how it is, how they filed before. Why didn't anyone get the news? Did the SEC leak? To someone at Bloomberg, who knows, but Terminal had it first, then Zoomer, or actually then DB, then Zoomer. Usually Zoomer's faster than DB. Not sure what happened to Zoomer. He wasn't, he's not watching the feed all day or he's slow, but he's still juiced. You know, actually Zoomer enters before he tweets. Kind of shady, but he does it. Um, as an unbiased news source, you kind of want to publish the news before you enter, right? Or at the same exact second, that would be good. But... Anyway, um, so we bounced a little, right? 290. Bi what did Bitcoin do? Bitcoin went down to 26.55. Yeah, I did short 26.57. I got I got in a minute late on that short. So I'm like, ah, I think there'll be a, a little follow through, right? On At least on BTC, because BTC is lagging. <laughs> Bitcoin bounced to like 26.72. And I'm like, shit, I better close this. I closed around 26.7. Took a $1,500 loss. It wasn't a huge position. And then it starts to bleed out. Bleed out again slowly. 10, 10 minutes later, 20 minutes later. It goes below 26.6 again to my entry. And I'm like, ah, oh, come on. Are you kidding me? And then an hour, hour later or so, it's a couple hours later, we lost 26K and we hit 20. 5.3k other good shorts render apple was supposed to mention render in their vr or ar headset and uh i, I take it they didn't i didn't follow the conference the worldwide development conference so render was a great short i think yesterday it hit two dollars and 72 cents it hit 290 something at the high a few days ago and then it necked all the way to 224 so amazing short on render you caught the the 27 17% move. Congrats to you. A lot of people uh, Jake Jake Soya, congrats to you catching the render short. He missed the BNB short. Condolences to your your dad's BFF. Sorry for your loss, but the bigger loss is not catching that BNB or BTC juicer, right? 
But again, we had the BTC short. You just basically, any any big crypto fight, you can short Bitcoin or Ethereum. Ethereum actually went down to 1778, I think. Which was a good year. Good year. Um, oh no, not that poodle. You guys are running too close to the street. That poodle's being drugged. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's Brock saying, howdy do, poodle, howdy do. Can't really see. I wish I could zoom in, auto zoom in. How do you do, buddy? Come on. Come on, come back here. And then he's checking him out too. Everyone's checking him out. There he is, coming back. Coming back to you. <laughs> so this is hit or miss. I talked about all the dogs he attacks, the random dogs. So one in three dogs, he'll, he'll just jump them. Hey, boo boo. Hey. This is Momo again. So the BNB short directly on the Binance SEC. Oh, they sued that Binance for unregulated securities. Oh, then the second tweet, second news came out. Uh, this is the list of securities, BNB, Algo, um, Phil, the usual suspects, right? Not sure what else was on there. But again, you could have shorted out any of those, but people shorted BNB down to like 272. It's pretty decent from 300 to 272, a 10% move. No, 9.3%, but it was good. So everyone juiced, but people are mad. Golf mad about only making 30,000 versus 60,000. Well, you, you made a decent amount of golf. Don't worry about it. Manual news traders, uh, they got in from 298. I think Hyuk had the highest manual entry at 298. Other people got in at 296. Um, Tate had higher entry than Tree of Alpha. I'm not sure what happened to Tree of Alpha's position. I think they closed too early. A lot of people thought after the first news, when it went back to 290, that the news was over. No one cares about the SEC. But whales, whales, remember, whales move the markets. And they, were, they had been selling. Whales got the news early. Apparently yesterday when Bitcoin wicked to 27.4K, they were selling. That was just extra juice, extra liquidity to exit. Exit liquidity. Okay, so again, you could have retired. These are shorts, positions you can retire, either auto trade in them, or if you have delicious entry on Bitcoin and just shorting full size, like five or $10 million and, and riding that juice 5% for half a million, you could do it. But again, different breed. You gotta just gotta short and forget about it. If you get liquidated, misjudging the news, saying it, Oh, the market's going to reverse. The market doesn't care about the SEC then. Yeah, you could have missed it, but these are just plays. You got to have faith. Just short and wait. Wait for the market to react. Sometimes it takes 30 minutes. Sometimes it takes five minutes. In this case, unfortunately, I thought it was one of those news events that lasted five minutes, and I was wrong. Totally wrong. So judging news. Again, it's not 100%. Um, ability or skill to judge news. It just takes, but experience pays off. And again, being early is the best way to make money because that first wave, judging the second wave can be difficult. Oh, look at that Aussie. Not sure you can see because I'm on half, half zoom, so. Can you tell it's an Aussie? I can't really, I'm gonna have to zoom in. Now you can tell, look at that Aussie spotted fella I'm gonna let her off the leash and see what she does okay 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 put your boo hi momo come on momo she's okay right now Doing zoomies? You gonna do zoomies? Okay, so. I guess we can move on to DeFi. Again, to, to short news, you gotta be early. 
you, and you got to have faith. Sometimes you don't even have to be that early. Like we had 30 minutes to short the 26.5K and above level for at least 4%, 5% juicer. So because Bitcoin was just being held up by a, by a thread. And also the argument is whales were selling, insiders were selling. Usually the, the billionaires and crypto multimillionaires, 10 figures, nine figures whatever they get the news early they have the big connection so obviously it doesn't take much to know the sec has been after binance for a while you can say hey the news is coming very shortly load your shorts a lot of times they might may not leak the exact date monday june 15th june 5th but they'll tell you if you're an insider yeah it's gonna come right away as soon as possible we're gonna file our lawsuit against binance and ching ping zhao yeah and Um, so we can move on to DeFi. Really, oh, there's a couple things. The so Bitcoin, I tweeted about, did 20x over the weekend. The, the hashtag Bitcoin, Harry Potter, Obama, Masonic, 10, any, uh, and Ethereum, I forgot about Ethereum, any, uh, Voldemort, Ro Robot, <laughs> Trump, 69. Uh, I forgot the name of it. Yeah. So, uh, that did 40x. <laughs> it went into a 1.2 million market. I didn't sell, I only sold half. And when I tweeted about it, I lost 20% tweeting before I sold. Or drawing the chart. I drew the chart, I sold half, and then I tweeted. But I missed out on like 1.5 ETH. It happens. Uh, Finale. Finale tweeted and it went from 01, not, or 0001 to 0055, 54 at peak. I think 55. So 5 and X. Uh, five and a half x bounce you knew it was coming but still is there much juice even if it's the the best coin ever how can it be the best but the hype they're building up to be the hype but it did a full retrace of 50 percent all these coins dipped there's also binance uh uh Bol Voldemort. i don't know what binance stands for but zeus come on Come on, guys. Come on. Momo. Come on. If the dog just starts going that way, I'm screwed because get there's a road then in the path. Come on, Mo's. Momo. Come on. Momo. Hey, Mo. Momo. Right here. What about? So there's a Binance that's even a smaller market cap. It did like 7x from yesterday from like 30k market cap to 220k or something. Not sure. Again, you can't pump. You can put like 0.1 Ethereum in and ride it full way. Come on, Momo. There she is. Momo. Come on, guys. Momo, come on. Okay, she's. She's okay. Hi. Hi. Hey. There's going to be more puppies here. Okay, she's in there. So I think she's following me, even though she's not near me. Hi. There she is. Hi. Stop, stop. She is kind of lost, though. No, she's looking at me. Hey, girl. She slept with me, so usually that's that's the first sign. Oh, I got a call coming in. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, Kizzy. He's running with you. Oh no. Oh, they're walking each other. He's a a, a dog on a mission. Dog should distract him from whatever activities he wants to do. <laughs> Hi.
Um, so we talked about Finale, Harry Potter, Bitcoin, Obama, Tanin, uh, Bitcoin, Binance, Ethereum, the DeFi coins, a Pang, or I mean Tang, Richard Tang, Dick Tang, Tangy Dick. Uh, who doesn't love Dick Tang? I mean, he's, he's the new face. Binance, I mean, it's not official, but they're going to make him the new CEO. And CZ is going to step down finally after six years. Uh, the greatest tenure as CEO. The first CEO, the greatest crypto CEO, perhaps. Better than uh, Richie Lau of Bitrix. Better than Brian Armstrong of Coinbase, right? Who else? Uh, Kraken. CEO, uh, forgot his name right now. Yeah. <laughs> those are like the only public CEOs. It was the little, uh, Mexican street dog. Kind of wild, no clear patterns. Is she from Mexico? Yeah. Oh, okay. You. You got him through a rescue? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just their patterns as a typical Mexican street dog. Yeah. Um, any words of wisdom today? Oh, friends. The big launch was friends. So a DeFi farming, airdrop farming has become the topic du jour of, hey Momo, Wait. for people since the Arb airdrop on March 23rd, right? Where people printed over $1,000 per, per wallet, 750 Arb, that was like $1.30. So minimum, some people had multiple water. Some people printed over a hundred thousand on that. I think uh, Bitcoin, something. I forgot his name. Oh, incredibly long Bitcoin. One of those guys. Congrats to him. But it, so that started the wave of airdrop farming. And but well, people are all over the place. They're like farm layer zero airdrop farm, the Sui airdrop farm, the Say airdrop farm, the. Um, what was that one with the freaking? Yeah, she's from <laughs> Rusty, so funny. Um, the one with Stargate, where you had to stake Stargate. That was uh, oh, Stargate Bridge. I forgot that one. That was a big one. Where you had to stake like a hundred STG for up to five years. I, I actually talked to a guy who did it on over a hundred wallets or a thousand wallets. What? Thousand wallets? Yeah, he said he had like over a hundred thousand dollars in STG staked. Crazy. Obviously, he's seven figures if he's going to do it. So back to airdrop farming. The Farmer Friends Protocol they launched airdrop farming as automated so you can buy farmer friends tokens deposit them in the protocol farm whatever you want it's in beta so it's not reliable uh, yet and obviously these anti some people said cybel but i'm just gonna say to just saying sybil anti sybil like sybil simon anti sybil simon techniques to counteract people that are not in it to strengthen the protocol and use the product but just for the airdrop, right? We don't like those people if you're launching your own protocol. Because it costs money. You want to pay the people that are actually using it. In it. Ooh. In it for the long haul. So. Uh, Farmer Friends launched. It was botted to hell. Some the the most advanced botters made like 10x from launched at like 20k market cap. Instantly sent to one and a half million market cap. My bot actually, uh, well met was botting for me. The earliest entry with the Maestro was one and a half million market cap. 
but it did peak at two and a half X. What do you got in there? What do you got in there? So, interesting peak. Ella Bell, get out of the street. Come on. Ella, come on. Come on, girl. Ella. Ellie. Hi. This dog, this dog comes immediately. He doesn't come when you call him, but when you sit down, he immediately comes over for pets. Don't pee on that. But oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on. He likes to chase after people. He likes their reaction when he scares them. Who doesn't? So I'll close out this vlog. Um, yeah, and it peaked at like 4 million market cap. There was a 30% sell tax, so I was up 2x at peak with the tax, but I didn't sell. They removed the tax, it went down to, back to my entry, 1.5 million market cap, and then I sold half at like 2 million. I only put one ETH on the bot. Could have bought it more, but still, it's, it's risky at oh, for a million market cap. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Gotta jump in. Jump in. Jump in. Come on. We got everyone. Jump in. Come on. Mom, moms, come on. No, Momo. Come on. Choose your anxiety. Your anxiety, Momo. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the launch, and then it dipped again to, they removed the sell tax, it got dumped all the way to 1 million, so I was under by 30%. And then it bounced two and a half X, so that was the point to buy at 1 million market cap, peaked at two and a half million. And now it's down to 1.8 last I checked. And we had crazy dips, uh, Bitcoin, hashtag Bitcoin, the DeFi token, went from 14 or 16 million at peak all the way to nine. Uh, all these DeFi tokens just got dumped off so hard on the Binance FUD, SEC FUD. So that, that's something to pay attention to. And uh, closing words of wisdom, you just gotta, gotta remain positive here, okay? Don't give up and just keep on trekking. Or you can give up, I don't care. I'm not here to tell you to give up. Remember, the best things in life are free, but we spend our whole lives trying to make money. Why? Because it's a status symbol, we're bored. You can live your life as a free person, tweeting, posting your pictures on Instagram, how you're not making any money, but you're traveling, it's a great life. But once you have kids, you think, oh, I got to have money for them. I can't travel with my kids, right, without money. But you can. But you got to put them in school. You got to settle down. Buy a house if you can afford it. Right? It's a hard life. It's hard once you get sucked into society. Or go back to nature and hunt. But then you got to worry about wild animal attacks. And, and disease. And all that. Uh, special shout-outs to people that commented. Foundation, Jamie. Uh, Don Diego, or whatever your name is. Uh, Sentinel. The regular guys. If I missed you, sorry. Look at this guy. Bye, guys. Okay, see you later.